Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error. That is the Witcher 3 has crashed. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now, the first step is to try DX11 or DX12 in the launcher. Now for this, launch the game. If you're able to launch the launcher, then go to launcher and you will see the game over here and then click on the game icon over here and then click on this gear icon once you click on this gear icon you will see dx12 and dx11 so you can try dx11 and then you can check if that does not work you can even try direct x12 and then check which one is working fine for you now the next step is to skip the launcher so you can skip this launcher uh, you can go to steam and then make a right click on the game select properties in the launch option you can type in dash dash launcher dash skip and then when you launch the game it will straight away open the game and then you can check the next step is to disable mods to disable the mods you can launch the launcher and then you can click on the game icon over here click on this gear icon and over here you can see enable mods option you can just disable it over here and then launch the game also you can rename the mods folder in the games installation directory so you can go to the game installation folder make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files now over here if you have mods folder in my case i don't have that folder but let me check i don't have the mods folder but if you have the mods folder you can just make a right click and you can rename the mods folder and then you can launch the game so try to launch the game without mods disable the mods and then check next step is to select classic version in steam so go to steam and let me close the game once you go to the steam make a right click on the game select properties and then go to the beta tab and over here select classic now once you select classic it will update if it's not updating automatically you can click on update and once the update is uh, complete uh, you can launch the game and then check if classic does not work you can again switch back to none so if this is not working you can try none and then you can follow the next step now the next step is to run dx11 exe file from the game installation folder so make a right click on the game select manage click on browse local files and then open the bin folder now over here you can see x64 folder make a double click scroll down over here you can see the game exe file so make a double click and you can try to launch the game from here so just make a double click over here and launch the game from here if this will be direct x11 folder i think direct x11 version now you can if, if this does not work you can open x64 dx12 folder and then you can make a double click launch the game from here and then check now still not working in that case you can try to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder now for this you can make a right click on the game once again manage browse local files and then open the bin folder open x64 and then make a right click in the game exe file select properties go to this tab put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator hit apply click on ok make a double click launch the game and then check if that does not work go to properties and then this time put a check over here select windows 8 hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working you can even try windows 7 over here hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check still not working put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok launch the game and then check if that does not work you can do the same thing do the same thing with this exe file and then check now still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working you can uncheck these boxes hit apply click on ok do the same thing with direct x12 version and then follow the next step now the next step is to now if you are able to launch the game if you are not able to launch the game you can skip this step but if you are able to launch the game disable nvidia here works and turn off ray tracing this has also worked for many players so it might work for you 
So when you launch the game, uh, go to options, go to video, go to graphics, scroll down, and over here you can see NVIDIA here works. Now, if this is on, uh, you can turn this off. Turn it off and then scroll up. And over here, you can see ray tracing. If ray tracing is on, you can turn off the ray tracing, apply the settings, and then check the performance. Now, the next step is to rename or delete the settings file in documents folder. Uh, in documents, you will find the game folder. You can open File Explorer and then go to Documents folder over here and then open the widget 3 folder and over here you can see DirectX and you will see the settings file. So you can either rename it or you can delete it. So you can just create a backup of these files if you want. So if you want you can create a backup. Copy this and maybe you can paste it to the desktop uh, once you have a backup. So once you have a backup now you can delete these settings file you can make a right click and then click on delete or you can even rename it and then check now the next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio files so scroll down here you can see x86 and x64 version you have to install both the files so click on this x86 you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install and then you will see x64 download this x64 you can run this exe file as well and again if you see repair click on repair if you see the install button hit install and let the installation complete make sure both are installed once installed then you have to restart your computer restart is a must after this after the system restart launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to delete red launcher folder from this location so you can open file explorer go to this pc open c drive now open the users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder and then open the programs folder over here you can see uh, CD project red folder open this folder and over here you can see red launcher folder you can create a backup first create a backup now once you have have a backup of this folder once you have a backup now you can you can delete this and then you can launch the game and then you can check now still not working the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security in that case you can open windows settings go to privacy and security and then click on windows security then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow now click on add and allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder now open the game folder now uh, select all the exe file even select the launcher Again, click on Add and Load App, Browser Labs, open the bin folder, open the x64 folder, select this exe file, click on Open. Again, click on Add and Load App, Browser Labs, and then go back, open this DirectX folder, select this exe file, click on Open. Now type in Control Panel in Windows search box, and then go to Control Panel. And then go to System and Security, Windows Defender, Firewall. And then click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings at the top click on allow another app and then click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder open the game folder open bin folder x64 select this exe file click on open and then click on add again click on allow another app click on browse 
and then go back open x64 dx12 select this exe file click on open and then click on add once the game is added over here allow another app check if there is any other exe file So that's the only exe file. Now once the game is added over here, now you can launch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to verify the game files. Now for this you can go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Still not working, then try DX11 or DX12 in the launch option. So make a right click on the game, select properties and in the launch option you can type in dash dx11 now you can launch the game and then check if that does not work try dash dx12 launch the game and then check still not working you can remove this follow the next step now the next step is to do not overclock so if you have overclocked your computer set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reward unit or any kind of overclocking application running close it also disable steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties go to general tab turn off the option which says enable the steam overlay while in game and then check now the next step is to now if you have any other overlay application like discord running go to discord set settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running you can go to nvidia apps settings and turn off nvidia overlay so close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I'm showing for NVIDIA. So to perform a clean installation, go to NVIDIA website and then select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system. So if you have Windows 11, select Windows 11. If you have Windows 10, select Windows 10 and then click on find. And once you click on find, you will see this page. Now here you will find the latest GeForce game ready driver. Now click on view. And then once you click on view, you will see the download option. Click on download and let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, run the exe file. Now once you run the exe file, you will see this screen. Click on agree and continue. And then select custom option over here. By default express would be selected. Select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd card users first of all uninstall the current graphic card driver restart your computer then go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest graphic card driver restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphics card now for this uh, type in, gra in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder open the game folder select all the ex uh, select open the bin folder then open the not this folder open x64 select this exe file click on add and then scroll down find the game in the list now once you find the game in the list you can click on the game and then over here you can see gpu preference set it to high performance you will see your graphic card over here Again, you can go at the top, click on add desktop app. And this time you can open this DX12, select this exe file, click on add. Again, scroll down and then find the game exe file in the list. Once you find it, click on, click on it, select high performance in your graphic card. Now you can launch the game. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. So to increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then 
go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total ram in windows settings you can go to system and then go to about and total ram in my case is 16 gigabyte so you can calculate accordingly in my case is 16 gb so i will calculate as per 16 gb so and first of all we have to convert 16 gb into megabyte so we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte I have 16 gigabyte of RAM so 16 into 1024 I have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total RAM so total RAM is this much into 3 that is 49152 49152 4915152 one now click on set over here then click on ok ok apply ok ok now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the BIOS so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number and then update your system BIOS in case of laptop make sure battery on your computer is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer during the BIOS update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system BIOS after the BIOS update log into the computer and then launch the game next step is to unplug all the external devices so if you have hotas wheel pedals any kind of USB adapter connected disconnected disconnect additional controllers sometimes we have extra control connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor Try launching the game on single monitor. If you have any third party services or application running, close it. Remove the underworld. If you have underworld 3D computer and then launch the game. Still not working. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, we can make a right click on the game. Select manage, click on uninstall. After the uninstall, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive or any external drive, Try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that will be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.